According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Romance is in the air. Your heart is racing, your stomach is filled with butterflies, and you can't help but imagine a future with the person you know you are in love with. You are in love. But what does this mean exactly? I mean, in this scenario, this is the first time you've fallen in love. What are the little things to know that can make a world of difference in your relationship? If only you knew these things. Well, Psych2Go is here to help you. Here are seven things to know when you first fall in love. One, you can change. You may think you will never become a diehard fan of The Bachelor or any other reality TV show, or perhaps you've sworn off the taste of Jello. Is it a solid, a liquid, what is it? Well, these ideas of yours may change when you fall in love. Not specifically with Jell-O and reality TV, but your interests and personality traits may change. According to a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, people in love will find themselves with different personality traits and interests after entering into their respective relationships. One of the authors of the study suggests individual self-esteem often increases along with gaining a more diverse sense of self. 2. Fear and judgment will decrease. Love has its many benefits. One common one is that your ability to make overly critical assessments can shut down. One study suggests this further. The study was conducted by married couple Richard Schwartz and Jacqueline Olds, professors at Harvard Medical School and couples therapists. In a study, they look into the science behind the common term, love is blind. And in a piece published by Harvard University, Schwartz explained that feelings of love deactivate neural pathways responsible for negative emotions. Which ones, you ask? Some are fear and social judgment. 3. Love can make you sick. Are you lovesick? Have you felt the pain of heartbreak? Well, beside the stress and sadness a broken heart can cause, love can also have the chance to make you more prone to coming down sick. Love can raise levels of cortisol. The stress hormone cortisol can increase the odds of making you sick as it has been shown to suppress immune function. 4. Misunderstandings are bound to happen. When you first fall in love, you may think everything is meant to be perfectly perfect in every single way. But misunderstandings are bound to happen eventually. This isn't the end of the world though. You may have thought your partner meant this when they meant that. Maybe your partner thought you behaved a certain way when you do the exact opposite. Don't let simple confusion disrupt your feelings for each other or the growth of your relationship. If it's serious, discuss it. If it's really no big deal, it's no big deal. Really. 5. They aren't your missing piece. Many can seek out love or be drawn to someone in hopes they will complete them and make them one again. Yes, your lifelong partner can be one of the biggest parts of your life, but it can be unhealthy to look for a partner in hopes they'll make you feel complete. If you do feel empty, a partner may appear to make you feel better for a while, but after due time, those empty feelings will only arise again. Feeling complete and finding your purpose is a journey you must discover within yourself first. Yes, you can do this by your partner's side too, but relationships tend to be more successful when we already know who we are and what it is we want out of life. Then our perfect match may just follow. 6. Their values can change. Couples often become a good match based on similar values. It's one of the fundamentals of any healthy relationship. But partners can change. Perhaps your love has just received a new job and has to move to the city for their future. But something you originally both connected on was living the peaceful, simple life in a quiet, serene town. Those big city lights just aren't your thing. And since you can't imagine yourself living downtown and their circumstances have now changed, it might be time to move on. You both have different goals and desires now. Couples fall in love, and although they may not always fall out of love right away, they may not be a good match anymore. The important thing is, you still have the opportunity to fall in love with someone who now matches the person you've become. 7. Learn to love yourself first. One of the greatest things to jumpstart a healthy relationship? Loving yourself first. In fact, your relationship with yourself is the most important aspect of your existence you should focus on. We tend to push aside our conflicting feelings and suppress the unpleasant emotions deep inside us. We can lash out at ourselves when we feel we're not good enough. 
Doing so, we continue down the road of negative thoughts and self-hate. One of the most crucial things you can do in life is to expand from your narrowing beliefs and learn to love yourself. Treat yourself with the compassion and care you'd like from others. Working on self-love can improve your self-esteem and grow your confidence. Respect yourself first. Then, your heart will be open to finding your true love and loving them and yourself freely. So, have you learned something new about love? Where are you in your self-love journey? Have you recently found your first love? Or are you hoping you will in the near future? Share with us in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone you love. It may help them learn something new to grow your relationship for the better. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.